If you are new to the page, welcome. I'm Julie Samako with Southern Charm Rees, where we make beautiful wreaths and teach you how to make and sell them. So in this video, uh, let's get together making a wreath. All right, so my, I'm thinking I want this to be secured in to this wreath. So I've got two wreaths I'm just going to combine together. Just like this. Okay, so you guys, just this alone is pretty, isn't it? So beautiful. So we're just gonna keep working and incorporating from here. I got this side from Trinity Tree and I wanna incorporate a bow. There was a place on here that seemed a little thin. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe right up here. I'll put the sign over here. I like that right there. And what I'm going to do is cut some of the berries behind the sign out so that you can, I can move these berries so that they can get seen. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's move it on. So we've got this over here. And now what we're gonna do is, I've already created a bow. I've just made two loops in the two and a half inch and then um, three loops and the one and a half inch. This ribbon is from Trendy Tree. Did I say the sign is also from Trendy Tree? I just love the colors. What I wanna do is just put my, uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna put my bow right here. This'll just balance it. So if you want a bigger bow, you absolutely can make a bigger bow. I was, um, I'm using scraps right here for this bow, but I definitely wanted to incorporate the blue and the red. I just love how that goes with the sign. Really, really pretty. got that. Um, the other thing I have, I loved this mesh. This also is from Trendy Tree. This is really pretty. Um, I thought this might be good if we ruffled and incorporated some of this in the wreath. You know, sometimes you don't know until you get it in there and check it out. So here you can see where we've added just some mesh. It adds in a little more of that blue and the red throughout the wreath. And then you can keep lifting. I'm just gonna keep lifting up my um, items so that it doesn't feel smashed. I want it to have some lift and dimension. And then I'm gonna put this guy so these are the pieces that we trimmed off underneath the sign. I'm just gonna dip this in my glue and I'm gonna add it right here. And I may put this one other piece down here. Let's 
Let's move this piece in just a little bit more. So at a part of this wreath, you can stop, can't you? So you could put the two wreaths together and stop. They looked pretty just like that. Add the sign of the bow. You could have stopped. Looked pretty just like that. got all of these other little pieces that I can hot glue back in to the wreath um, later. I wanted to incorporate just a little bit of gold. I think in some gold in here would look pretty. Not too much. Just a few pieces. We've got gold in the ribbon and we've got gold in the suns or the sun. Love that. Um, you could add more ribbon streamers if you wanted. And you could add ornaments. I do have a few ornaments I thought maybe would look cute. But I don't want it to be too full. I think I'm going to turn this guy the other way. about the hot glue what kind of container is it I've only seen glue guns a uh, Brenda that's a good question that's one of my most asked questions this is just a little fry pan uh, purchased it off Amazon I think it was like 20 bucks and I um, put my hot glue sticks in it I always recommend making sure when you get a hot glue pan it's not a hot glue pan this is just a skillet but there are hot glue pans out there made for crafting. You want to make sure you get one that is made um, that is a temp the adjustable temperature. Because there's nothing worse than getting having something smoke. You know that's just not healthy to have things smoking. Let's see. Hold on, let me get one of these. just about done. I'm just going to hot glue some of these little pieces on. So one of the places, one of the um, things you want to do is when Christmas is over, I've been telling all my groups, go stock up on the after Christmas sales. Stock up on red. You know, red can be used all year round. You've got Valentine's Day. You've got patri the patriotic look for the 4th of July. Let 
look at everything and ask yourself, how can I use this for another season? All right, I've got these little berries. I'm just gonna move those in. Let me hold this up. How do you like it? Didn't it turn out super cute? So a lot of people wouldn't think to use blue for the holidays. I want to encourage you to think about using blue, especially into 2020. That's the Pantone color of the year. So you're gonna see, I mean, it started trending upward a couple of years ago, the hues of the blue. And now it's really gonna be, um, I think more prominent. I love blue, it's really pretty. You can see it in all of the designer magazines. It's incorporated into the household decor and things like that. So don't be afraid to use a color blue. And I hope you learned a thing um, or two regarding taking a couple of wreaths and starting your wreath base already half done. You could just add a bow. And again, at any stage of this game, you could have stopped. Just keep layering and layering and making it your own, doing anything that you want. Um, this is super, super cute. I love it. Make sure to subscribe if you click the follow button uh, at the end of this video, or maybe it's, you see it now at the bottom. Follow my channel and you'll be the first ones notified when we do another live. And if you are uh, watching the replay on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to me over there and click the little bell icon. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas if I don't see you.